In this section, we will learn about the process of translation termination. First, let's take a look at prokaryotic termination. When a stop codon on the messenger RNA presents itself in the A side of the ribosome, it is recognized by a class 1 release factor known as RF1 or RF2. These release factors have different but overlapping specificities where RF1 reads UAA and UAG, RF2 reads UAA and UGA. In the diagram here, the RF2 is shown by itself or bound with the ribosome at the A site. Binding of the RF2 factor to the stop codon in the A site triggers the hydrolysis of the peptide bond from the peptidyl tRNA in the P site, releasing the nascent peptide from the ribosome. After peptide release, RF1 and RF2 dissociate from the post-termination complex. The dissociation is accelerated by a class II release factor called RF3, which functions as a translational GTPase that binds and hydrolyzes GTP in the course of termination. While RF3 increases the efficiency of peptide hydrolysis, it's not an essential protein for the process. In gene knockout studies, RF3 is dispensable for the growth of E. coli, and its expression is not conserved in all bacterial lineages. So overall, when a stop codon presents itself in the A site of the ribosome, RF1 or RF2 enters the A site and binds with the messenger RNA. This leads to the hydrolysis of the peptide bond from the aminoacyl tRNA in the P site and releases the new protein. Binding of RF3 and GTP hydrolysis causes the dissociation of the RF factors and causes a conformational change of the ribosome structure. Subsequent binding of the ribosome recycling factor, RRF, and EFG causes the dissociation of the large subunit from the small subunit and releases the messenger RNA. In eukaryotes and archaea, on the other hand, a single omnipotent releasing factor reads all three stop codons. Although the mechanism of translation termination is basically the same, there is neither sequence nor structural homology between the bacterial release factors and the eukaryotic release factors, apart from the universally conserved GGQ motif which is required for the peptide hydrolysis from the tRNA. So we will end this section with a complete summary of prokaryotic translation. This is a very nice diagram showing all three stages of translation, the initiation, the elongation, and the termination. The major physical components of the ribosome are also noted in this diagram on the left-hand side. In the next section, we will take a look at some of the regulatory mechanisms that control the translation process.